Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the prototype design pattern. So let's get started. Now prototype design pattern is a creational design pattern. So it will be helpful when we want to create the different objects. So let's understand how this will be helpful and where we can use the prototype design pattern. So from the name itself we can identify that there will be some types of prototypes and from that prototypes we can create the objects. So suppose in the real world example as well whenever we are doing any engineering stuff right. So what we do is we create some prototypes. So suppose we create some prototype one right. Suppose I'm working on a robot right. So for that robot I will create one prototype and on top of that prototype I will do some modifications and I will create the another prototype for that particular robot. Okay, and what I will do is I will always do some kind of configuration changes or some minor tweaks to create the different prototype out of it. So you can see that I had created one prototype and on that prototype I did some modifications to create the another object that is the another robot and from that another prototype I can create the object to have the another prototype or I can do little tweaking on the this prototype itself and can create the another objects as well or another prototype as well. So you can see that based on some base structure you will be creating the different objects. So that's where prototype design pattern comes into picture. So suppose if you have lots of objects to be created and all those objects are very heavy while creation process. So what you can do is you can create the prototype pattern out of it and you can create the clone of that particular prototype and you can do some modifications. Okay. So you can see that we are not doing any rocket science here whatever the prototype it was earlier we did some tweaking on it and then we created the different prototype so for our objects as well if i have objects created okay and for that objects what i can do is i can do some tweaking on it and i can create the objects so when i have to do the tweaking what i will do is i will clone this entire object do some tweaking on it and then i can use that particular object. So that's the idea behind the prototype design pattern. Let's understand more on it. So let's understand with one example here. So what we can say here is suppose you want to create two wheelers and four wheelers. Okay. The objects of two wheelers and four wheelers. So how you will create the object of those things. So suppose if you have the base thing. So the base thing of a two wheeler and four wheeler would be vehicle, right? So you would be creating a vehicle and with that vehicle, either you can create a two wheeler or you can create a four wheeler. Or a car whatever you want to say because in two wheelers also you can create a bike a motorbike or a scooter in four wheelers you can create a pickup truck you can create the car so many stuffs okay so that's why we are going with a generic form now you can see that what vehicle would have okay so vehicle would have basic things so vehicle would have engine what model it is okay the price of the vehicle and lot more okay so you can see that this is your base vehicle okay this is your base vehicle now based on this base vehicle you can either create what type of that vehicle is either it's a two wheeler or four wheeler okay and to have everything added here as a vehicle it's a complex task right because creating vehicle itself is a complex thing so what we are trying to do is rather than creating the object of a vehicle or a two wheeler or four wheeler every time what we can do is we can use the already existing objects and what we will do is we will clone that particular object and we will do the picking on it. So what I want to do is whenever I want to create the two wheeler what I can do is I can define okay it has to be a two wheeler engine it should have a particular model for it it should have a price for it okay I can add some more parameters as well here suppose is this two wheeler electric or not that also I can define okay and so you can see that this is something that is the designing factor or a change factor based on the default vehicle. So you can see that with this particular change you can see that you had created the object but most of the things were similar. Most of the things that you copied from the vehicle object itself. So you, what you did you copied the object here okay and then you added some of the properties. Similarly you can do the same thing over here as well. So in the four wheeler as well you can add the engine. You can add the model of that engine model of the car the price of the car is it going to be petrol car is it going to be diesel car whatever it is is it going to be having the air conditioner or not whatever there are different parameters to it you can add the different parameters so here also you can see that few of the things you are taking from the vehicle object itself you will be cloning this object and you can add the different parameters to it so you can see that you are using the base object that is the vehicle object 
on top of that you are doing some modifications so one more thing we can do over here is we can have the registry of the prototype objects that we can create so rather than cloning this object every time for a two wheeler or four four wheeler what we can do is i already know what i want to have in a two wheeler and i already know what i want to have in a four wheeler okay so those objects as a base objects okay these two objects as a base object i can store somewhere right and that i can store in the registry don't mind my spelling and handwriting it's really bad okay so just understand that this image and this image okay that is the two wheeler object and the four wheeler object both of them i can store in one registry okay so suppose i can create a vehicle registry and in this vehicle registry i can store that two wheeler object and a four wheeler object and i can store each and everything in a hash map and here i can give a key as well this is going to be two this is going to be four so now you can see that I have the base object stored in one registry. Okay, this is going to be my registry. Now, whenever I want to create a two wheeler, okay, what I will do is I will clone this object. I will clone this object of a two wheeler and whatever the modifications I want to do, I can do those modifications and I can have the object of a two wheeler. Similar thing, when I want to have the four wheeler object, I will just get this object, clone it and I can do the modifications and I can have the four wheeler object. So you can see that every time i do not have to create the entire object by myself there is an already object available in the registry i can use that object and i can do the modifications on it and i can use that object directly so you can see that there will be a lot of time saved while creating the objects because these objects will be very heavy while creation processes okay so that's why we are using the prototype pattern if the object creation is heavy at that time only we should go with the prototype design pattern create the prototype of it and clone that particular prototype and use it okay so you can see that the cloning part is really important here so this is just the high level explanation that i have given you let's understand by code as well like what we mean by vehicle registry what we mean by cloning and everything okay so let me just go to the intellij idea here and here you can see that i have the prototype project available okay in this prototype you can see that i have given the entire explanation here and i have also added the reference from where i have took this example okay so you can refer this as well i will share all the codes with you so here you can see that i have created a base vehicle here and you can see that this is the abstract class vehicle this is the base class that we understood earlier and you can see that this is implementing clonable interface so this part is really important like whatever the base that you are keeping for a client to use that has to have the capability to clone the particular object so you can see within this vehicle we have engine model price and a constructor which will initiate the object of a vehicle simple thing okay one more thing you can see that as we have implemented the clonable interface we also have the clone method here and you can see that what this clone method is doing this clone method is returning the vehicle object by doing the clone operation okay as we have implemented the clonable interface we can do the clone operation here and it will clone the object convert to vehicle and it will return it and this all different methods you can see these are thus the getters and setters for these three values simple thing now your base vehicle class is ready now let's go to two wheeler vehicle and a four wheeler vehicle so if i go to two wheeler vehicle you can see that this two wheeler vehicle is extending the vehicle itself okay and it has one extra property that is it electric or not now you can see that whenever i am creating the constructor of it what i'm taking is i'm taking the engine model price these three are part of the vehicle itself and i'm taking the is electric as well so i'm calling the super and i'm assigning the is electric as well simple implementation of the two wheeler similarly if i go to the four wheeler vehicle this is also very simple four wheeler vehicle is extending the vehicle class it has couple of more properties and it has a constructor to initialize the object and a clone method as well so whatever classes are extending your base class all those classes should also support the clone method okay that's the main thing over here so here also you can see that it is supporting the clone method and it is cloning the object and it is converting to four wheeler vehicle here okay similarly it has to be in the two wheeler vehicle as well so you can see that vehicle two wheeler vehicle and four wheeler vehicle all should have the clone methods so now all your base classes are supporting clone method so whenever i want to get a particular object i can get using the clone method now this was just the basic like the classes only we created but now you can see that i have also mentioned the registry as well so here you can see that we have created the vehicle registry as well so this vehicle registry you can see that is nothing but a hash map of string and vehicle okay so you can see that within the 
starting of the application itself what i'm doing is i am creating the prototypes and storing in my registry simple so i am creating the prototype of two wheeler vehicle and a four wheeler vehicle you can see that i'm just creating the object and i am storing all those objects in my registry that is the map vehicles and with the key is 2 and the key for the four wheeler is 4 so you can see that whenever my application starts i have the prototype objects ready now whenever anyone wants to use those objects they can get using one of the methods that we provide so here you can see that we are providing get vehicle method from the vehicle registry so whoever wants a particular object they can get directly by the value that they pass so suppose they want a object of a two wheeler they can pass two here as a string value and what we will do is we will get a particular two wheeler object from the hash map and we will clone it and we will return it simple so you can see that from the registry itself we will provide the client to get a particular prototype object that is the clone object of a prototype we have already stored similarly if they want the object of a four wheeler they can pass four and it will clone it and it will return the particular object so you can see that the objects will be always new created it will be a clone object created whatever the modifications needs to be done that modifications can do client can do those modifications and they can use this particular object so you can see whatever the heavy objects are there that your application needs all those things can be done directly in the prototype objects that you want and that they can use by cloning methods so you can see that it's a really simple method to implement we just have to identify like when we are using the prototype pattern whenever your object creation is very heavy and all the clients are dependent on to have those particular objects right all the clients at that time we will go ahead with this pattern we will allow them to have the clone objects and they can use or modify those objects according to their need so this question will be asked a lot in your interviews as well so don't worry about it so what you need to make sure is whatever the base object that you create that base object should support the clonable interface okay that should support the cloning of the object and whatever the subclasses are there that also should support the cloning operations okay once you do that okay what you can do is like you can create the registry of it and in that registry you can create those base objects and you can store them and whenever anyone wants to use that they can use directly using this vehicle registry or the registry that you create okay one thing is you should not allow the other classes to be used directly by the client applications okay we should allow only by the registry they can clone those objects and then they can create it so this way you will explain in your interviews your interview will be happy with your answers so this was all about the prototype design pattern if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye